Hey guys, what is up and what is going on? Um, so let's go and talk Dallas football. Honestly, that game against Dallas and the Vikings, the fact that it just ended, honestly still kind of has me a little bit on edge because it, it, it really did look like the Vikings were going to come back and the game was going to be a lot longer. Um, and, uh, like... Honestly, Dallas on that two-point conversion, um, they got really lucky that they really didn't call, um, what was it, face mask or anything. Like, I can't even think of the name of it because he did go and get in um, uh, Sam Bradford's, Sam Bradford's uh, face. And I was a little worried that it, it was really, like, that was really going to hit them and it was going to be hard um, to think about because, because of just all the fact and everything. And honestly, for me, for the most part, I honestly, I didn't feel like Dallas played very well tonight. Um, they looked really sloppy, had way too many penalties, um, and just so many different things. And like, honestly, they got really lucky to go and, um, to actually pull out this one. I guess, like, I know a lot of people are, are kind of, like, a little bit more or less upset because of the fact that it was so close and kind of starts to worry people about, um, can they actually hold, hold on to this win streak and can they actually keep, keep us from, you know, like, declining or needing, like, anything like that. Um, I know it worries a lot of people, and it actually was worrying me because, honestly, like, they didn't seem like the team that w was there um, last week um, or anything like that, like on Thanksgiving. They didn't seem like that team, and it honestly, it does seem like it, it, it makes me more or less nervous because of who exactly um, – Dallas might play because they are having a little bit harder time to get to the quarterback. And when they do, they kind of, like, miss and, you know, and he kind of gets by them and uh, all of that. I know that there probably needs to be more pressure on them. But it's just kind of, like, a little bit crazy to actually watch this game. And maybe it'll be a huge wake-up call for them, um... Maybe, I don't know, it'll just, it'll just help out. Um, because, like, I know, like, so many people are, are saying that, you know, Dallas needs to lose and Dallas needs to do that and everything. Um, honestly, this, this probably, like, came pretty close because of the fact that it was so, like, the, the game was so tight and the fact that there were so many penalties and it just seemed like they really had an off night and you just kind of go and hope that by next week Dallas will be ready uh ready to go against I think they're playing the Giants um which they ended up losing that season opener to them um I know that they're like for that game I know for the most part they're gonna end up coming with a chip on their shoulder and wanting to beat him but if they go and they keep playing the way that they did tonight, I know it's going to be a little bit harder um, to to get over that because it, it, it was honestly really, really sloppy. And you really, well, I really expected a little bit more out of all of them and uh, not so many penalties. And I expected Dallas to have a bigger lead um, than just by two points. And, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just crazy to think, guys. But anyways, um, I'm gonna head off to bed and do all of that. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know how you think the Cowboys did. Leave it in the comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So stay beautiful, stay positive, never give up, and always be true to you are. Love all of you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.